Mr. Ian Hawkes. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. Quickly, what are your names? Um, Doris. 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 Sylvia. Sylvia. Gabby. Wanda. Wanda. Ruth. Everybody, Ruth. This is my girlfriend. Uh, nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Lily. You're Millie. Lily. Lily. Joanna. Joanna. Fantastic. Okay, today's my presentation on the present perfect. So that's my name. Today's topic or subject is the present perfect. Right, okay. This is a hard one for to fit into 20 minutes. So I take it you're all at a level where you understand the grammar, verbs, nouns, adjectives, okay? Because in the English language, we use the present perfect for a very special purpose. Uh -huh. We use it to talk about, to speak about something we've done in the past. But it, uh -huh. but it still refers to something that, that we're doing in the present. Okay, so present perfect. You may want to write this down. Present perfect. In English, you use this form of verb as well in Spanish, but in English, we use it to cover two time spans, the past and the present, okay? So we use the present perfect. Can you all read my writing? No? Can you read my writing, Joanna? Can you read my writing? You, can you read my letter? My letters? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes? And you can understand what I'm saying or I'm talking too fast. Because we're going to be talking about the present perfect, okay? Yeah? Okay. So we use present perfect to speak about something you did in the past, but, but which you can see the results in the present. And I will give you an example of this. I will turn my back to the wall. You want to write this down. This is what the present perfect is. Uh -huh. And it's very... English uses this form of verb for a very special purpose. What was the special purpose? Because it covers two tenses. It spans two times, the past and the present. Did you get that? Yeah? You want to write this down. You seriously want to write this down. This is what the present perfect is. Something you speak about. You speak about something you did in the past, but which you can see the results in the present. Am I talking too fast? Walter, for this group, it's fine? It's fine? What level are you? It's one of the it's one of the the, the uses. It's one of the uses. One of the yes. uses. Yeah, yeah, I mean, generally the connection is between the past and the present. Uh -huh. Between the past and present. Yeah. But, uh, I'm about to give you an example. In 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a this one going to do in 20 not minutes. Not yes. Right. Okay. So, everybody, ladies, or my ladies, you want to write this down. Write it down. This is what the present perfect is. Write down. Write it down. You probably won't get a clearer explanation than this. Write it down so you remember. Only one example? No. This is your one right now. Él preguntó si está hablando muy rápido para que hable más lento también. 
Quizás no entiende ni dijo puede hablar más lento. Okay, yeah, because I'm going to drop this out and then I'm going to ask you what the present perfect is. Okay, example of the present perfect. The present perfect, okay? You written this down? Maybe they don't need it. If you don't that. understand, I'm about to explain to you this mysterious box. This mysterious box. This mysterious box. Awesome. So, present perfect, you want to write this down and then we'll get to the example so you understand. Uh -huh. Because what you may find unusual uh -huh, uh -huh, is that the present perfect spans two times. Two times the past and the present. Yeah? Okay. So English uses. So you've written this down, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Because that this is what the present perfect is in a nutshell in twenty minutes, yeah. Uh-huh. In the English language, you have this form of verb, you use this form of verb in Spanish as well, but mainly to talk about the past. In English, the present perfect has a very special purpose. Uh -huh. In the English language. Because it spans two, this is not mathematics, this is English class. So instead of writing two, I'm going to write the word two. It spans two time periods. The past and the present. And I'm about to tell you why, to show you an example with my mysterious box. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I have opened the box. I have opened the box. Uh huh. That's the present perfect sentence. That I have opened the box. I have opened, past tense of open, the verb, yeah? ED. So I have opened the box. I have opened it. That's happened in the past, but the box is now open here in the present. Open the box. She has opened the box. Mm -hmm. She has opened the box. 